So a few, a few words about security. Um, here, if I kind of uh, recap what I did, I just did like kubectl apply like three times. I just applied three ML files. And by applying these three ML files, I opened the back door into my cluster. So that that's kind of, uh, there is a, a, a high possibility of danger, let's say. Um, when we do uh, kubectl apply, we might end up uh, creating a, a deployment that would start mining cryptocurrencies on the cluster, that could hide on a different namespace, um, so that when I do kubectl get, I, I'm not seeing it by default. It could bind mount the file system of the nodes, so it could access the file system of the of the machines. It could add a rogue SSH keys uh, in the root account, allowing an external attacker to log as root on the cluster. It could even encrypt the data and ransom it, so do like all, all kind of really bad things. So doing kubectl apply on a remote uh, or on a, on a YAML whose provenance is uh, unknown is a little bit like doing curl pipe sh uh, on a URL that you don't know. So both kubectl apply and curl pipe sh are super convenient because instead of telling to somebody run this and then that and that and that and that and that and that, like giving like 15 steps, you just tell them execute that script. So same thing with kubectl apply, instead of telling people you create a deployment and then a service account and then a role binding and then a this and a that and a whatever, you just tell them apply that YAML and it takes care of everything. But you have to trust what's in the YAML. Um, so that means that if you, if you do a kubectl apply uh, with a YAML that comes from a trusted vendor, it's probably going to be fine. But if you do a kubectl apply on a YAML found like on some random place on the internet, um, things might not go as well. <coughs> um, um, a little detail is that the the way that we set up Weave on these clusters uh, is, is using exactly that. Let me show you in... Uh, it's here. That's... Uh, where is it? Right. That line here. Uh, to install Weave, we do kubectl apply on https cloud.weave.work slash key8s slash net. So essentially, this address here is the address of a YAML file. Uh, okay. To do dash L like this. So when I do a curl here, it, it sends me the YAML for Weave. So the official installation instructions for Weave are apply that YAML. And that's super convenient because for the vendor, it means that when they need to update, they just need to update that YAML and they they don't need to, uh, to update the instructions and tell you, oh, so now you need to create a deployment or a service account or this or that or etc. cetera. 